Ryan DeStars at Radio Memphis. Nice fellas. Offensive Gestures is the name of the song there. Ahead of that, it was Stephen Chopek with Systematic Collapse. Also a nice fellow. Um, 19 minutes past the hour in the midst of the nooner here on this Thursday. It's the 21st of April. So is tomorrow Earth Day? Oh. Did we, did we determine that? No, I, I, I don't know why I thought it was. Uh, I think it is. Is um, it the 22nd? And then, and then in sometime in May is Arbor Day, I believe. Mm. So there's a whole bunch of environmental stuff. I mean, it was spring, you know, and people are, you know, uh, taking care of plants and they're trying to. Yeah, it is to, tomorrow. It is tomorrow. And we're supposed to like, you know, got to take care of the earth. Uh, let me tell you people something about all this. Uh, earth is going to take care of us and it's not going to be pretty. No. So if we don't do, do it that way, if we don't like cooperate. Right. You know, the earth is a living thing. I mean, yeah, it's a rock yeah, floating through parasites. space. Yeah, we're parasites, and it's it, we got to. There's symbiotic relationships that have to take place. Yeah, well, well there's going to be trouble. You, you'd think that people would kind of understand that this planet could shake us off like a bad case of fleas. Oh yeah, pretty quickly. Oh yeah, you know, it's choosing the long game. Right. Look what happened with the dinosaurs. Well, it really wasn't their fault. It was they got hit by a rock. Sort of. Well, I mean, it didn't help. We don't know it wasn't their fault. Dude. <laughs> There's a, I don't have Apple Plus TV. Um, oh, no, neither do I. Because um, I'm tired of being nickeled and dime. I know, I'm with oh, you, but bullshit. they but they offer occasional bits of programming. And one, there's a docu, there's a there's a series, a limited series I, I'm, I'm interested in seeing. I saw the trailer for it. It dropped yesterday or day before, but I saw it yesterday. Sir David Attenborough. Oh, because when he speaks about nature and stuff, you have to listen. He's so he good at it. He knows stuff, too. He, yeah, I mean, he he's knows. been doing that a long time. Well, he's 120 years old. Yeah. You know, he discovered the Galapagos Islands, Island, for God's sake. That's right. <laughs> he's got a new... He did, you know, of course, the Planet Earth series. Right. And then the, what, the Frozen World series. He did a bunch of these things. The, uh, there was just a, a number of nature stuff. But he's got this new one. Oh, shit, what's the name of it? It's... Uh, Prehistoric planet, I think. And it's a look at on what... Apple TV? Yeah, on Apple TV. Yeah. And I th I think it's called Prehistoric Planet. Um, it's about the world during the age of the dinosaurs. Now, you'd think you'd seen it all, but this is incorporating new paleontological evidence as to what life could have been like Um based on some pretty interesting concepts about the way dinosaurs looked, sounded, behaved, how they, how, oh. we don't know much about them aside from the fossil record. So yeah, there's a lot of extrapolation go. that's oh, going shit. on in there. Yeah. And the trailer for it just dropped and it yeah, looks really that's... good. It's, you know, of course it's CG, you know, uh, it's, but they had like feathered dinosaurs and how, uh, how the pterodactyls gained flight and it doesn't come out until May. It's still, yeah. Uh, but the trailer's out. Yeah. yeah. It's a couple of minutes long and it, and it looks really good. It's David Attenborough for God's sake. Well, I know. Yeah. He's, he is seriously, he's like what, 97. Is he older than the queen? He might be. Let's look that up. And his brother, Richard, Sir Richard Attenborough. Sir David Richard Attenborough was in Jurassic Park. God, he's 95. So he's younger than the Queen. He's a year younger. Not by much. Not, not by much, right, right. Yeah. yeah. And he's so well-spoken. And that speech he gave, was it last fall? Where he, oh, where he spoke about the cl about, about climate, climate. Yeah. To some summit of some sort. And it was very moving. He's such a well-spoken guy. But anyway, he's got a new doc. He's going to be a part of a new documentary called, I think it's Prehistoric Planet. I'm not sure. You know, it's I, I think it's so funny that David Attenborough's doing that. Mm -hmm. and, and Richard his, was was an actor. Well, and Richard was in Jurassic, Jurassic Park, Park. Yeah. Who started Jurassic Park. He was the, yeah, he the was, wealthy guy that yeah, he was funded the, it. Yeah, exactly. Spared no expense. And he's gone. Yeah, he we've died. lost Richard Attenborough. He was fantastic. He died he in twenty 15, 14, 14, 15, 15, 15, yeah, yeah, somewhere around there, 14, 15. Go back and find like uh, some of the films he did in the 70s, 60s. Oh my God, 70s, yeah, the World War II films. Yeah, the, yeah. He was in uh, The Great Escape, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, with Steve no, McQueen. I think that's right. Yeah, yeah. He's one of the. Richard Attenborough. He he's sure one was. The, he's one of the commanders of the Allied 
troops that are organizing the escape. Yeah, it was a good that whole the whole Attenborough family. There, there's something. And John, who is John Attenborough? Uh, he's another. I mean, he's brother. a brother, but what does he do? Well, I don't know. Oh wow, is he alive? No, he died in 2012. So David's the only one left. I guess so. English executive. They're like the Bal motor industry. Okay. They're like the Baldwins. Everywhere you go, you yeah, find one. There's an Attenborough laying around. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It, no, it, it's, it looks really, it's well done. I mean, they spent some money on this. I'll have to give them that because CG ain't cheap. It's gotten cheaper. And it's not an animated film. I mean, it. I mean, technically it is, but it doesn't look it. It's, oh. it's fantastic. It really is. John, who is deceased, yes. died in 2012. Uh-huh. He was the youngest of the Attenboroughs. Wow. Well, I'll be damned. So David is... Uh, well, he's still the oldest. The oldest now, yeah. and uh, only one left. Well, there you go. There's a global... As a matter of fact, the UN labeled him as a global treasure. I think I don't know if it was treasure. David? Was it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, well, I could see that. It's a champion of the planet, I think. Right, that right. Effect. And, and that people should pay attention to what he talks about. And he's so he's so gentle about it. He really is. He uses and, stark language, but and it's, it's very gentle about he's it. He's been studying. He's a, he's a naturalist, naturalist yeah. that's been in this for most of his life. If, if not, not all, of, all yeah. of his life, right. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Very, <coughs> very smart man. <laughs> Speaking of British people, yes, Whitby Abbey is uh, it's a it's an abbey. It's a it's a place in the UK. The abbey features in Bram Stoker's 1897 Gothic <gasps> horror novel Dracula, oh. and is Dracula's first victim is in Whitby, if you remember the book. Um, now, Mark Williamson. Is from Whitby Abbey. He said the there's a challenge here we're throwing down here. It's going to be taking place on the 26th of May, and he's he's pretty pumped about this. Um, what's going on here is there's going to be a vampire convention. Oh, really? It's North Yorkshire in May. It's a bid to set a new record. Whitby Abbey. Um, will be the the location for this spot, and they're hoping to beat a record of 1,039 vampires. That's the current record, and it was set in 2011 at Doswell, Virginia. Uh, wait. Huh. A record? Well, the, as the, uh, the number of vampires in one place at one time is 1,039 at a vampire no, convention. No, no. What do you mean, no? There's no such thing as what, conventions? Vampires. Oh, no, no, no. There are vampires. Well, yeah, but there's not. Yeah, there is. <laughs> yeah. Uh, he said that we look forward to welcoming uh, vampires to Whippy Abbey for a fun evening of entertainment. And hopefully a successful new record. <laughs> oh, what? I just think it's... Funny. <laughs> of course, that's why we're talking about it. <laughs> Hundreds of Dracula fans go to Whippy every year. Because it's in the book. Many visitors to North Yorkshire, seaside town, asking where Dracula's grave is located, forgetting that it says here he's a fictional character. It, that's kind of true, but not. He's, right, right. He, it's thought that he's buried in um, trans, in the Transylvania area at a monastery that he built in 1380, I think. Vlad? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. any rate... Um, the house where Bram Stoker stayed and where much of the book was researched still stands and a plaque marks its, its time there. So all the fans of Bram Stoker and the Dracula series, or uh, Dracula book, uh, descend on... It's a gorgeous place. That's Whitby Abbey right there. Ooh! It's, it's, <gasps> oh, it's, man, it's, it's what a, a picture. Yeah, yeah, it's gorgeous with the big moon over there above it. I wonder if they superimpose that. They might That's have had a great photograph. I don't know, but if you'll recall in the book... Um, Whitby Abbey is where um, the prince leaves Transylvania. Because you remember, okay, Keanu Reeves is the is the real estate broker, right? And the prince is buying all this land right. in the UK, and he's buying up an old. He bought he bought an old abbey, and this is it. It was a church, and, and it was in ruins. It was in ruins then. 
and he wanted it. And he bought a, he bought uh, Carfax Abbey and, yep. and another place. Right. And the point was for uh, uh, Dracula to take a bunch of boxes of dirt and move mm-hmm. it over there so he could because he can only be in his own dirt That's right. apparently. And so he was going to basically take over England, and the ship showed up. The Demeter, I think, was the boat, and it showed yeah. up in the middle of the night with no crew on board, and it was really, really creepy. And uh, a lot of the story took place around around there. And if you follow the the book, is it's not what you think, but it's it's good. Um, spoiler alert: they do a man. Yeah, um, it's a big fight. And it takes place around. Carfax and Whippy. And yeah. so, at any rate, they're having this on the uh, 26th of May. You got time to book your ticket. If you're a vampire, you don't really need a ticket. You can just, you just show fly. up. You just show yeah. up. You're part bat. Right. Be whatever you want. Uh, they're hoping to beat the record of, of uh, what did I say it was? 1,000. Hey, it's down here. Uh, God, am I that stupid? Where no. was it? No. <laughs> Why? Uh, 1,039 people. Or 1,039 vampires. They're fans. And they're going to have a convention, which is, I would assume they're going to have, like, panels and stuff like that. I, want, I wonder if they're going to have a buffet and wonder who's there. <laughs> What's in the buffet? Frank. <laughs> Judy. <laughs> That's Steve. how they make more vampires. That's right. Yeah. yeah so. And then, and then you know, you know, because this is happening, and you got all these vampires that are hanging out in their, in their capes and their dark clothes and their pallid complexion, that there's going to be a bunch of uh, Van Helsing's hanging around. Uh, oh, and this could get messy. You know, have like the the, the Armageddon true. of the afterworld yeah. happening here. Uh huh. Might be best be careful. You know. I wonder if any's going to if there's going to be anybody that's going to protest this convention. If it were in the states, yes. Yeah. yeah. Oh, we can't have these evil vampires. This here. is just spawn of Satan, is what this is. Yeah. It's that it's we that, need to do that. That's that just, Joe Biden. He's he's bringing in all these saints vampires and, and, these and vampires, and they're going to suck you dry. <laughs> Don't you wish, madam. <laughs> Only if you're lucky. One night, several years ago, it was right right before the pandemic. It was the summertime, I think it was. And uh, I, I, had, I, I was, Joe was working late, and I, uh, I took Duke out. He had just moved in with us. And we were walking the neighborhood, and we walked by the Cooper Walker place, right there across the street from First Congo, that church that's there, the Cooper Walker, Cooper and Walker. And at that time, there wasn't a church in there, and it was just a building that that you could uh, you could rent it out for events oh, and stuff like that. There, and with a Johnny Cash basement and that kind yeah, of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we rounded the corner, and there were a bunch of people standing out there on the sidewalk. I thought, oh, there's something going on over here, and I was going to cross the street, and these guys were going, no, 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 no way, we want to see your dog. They were all vampires. <laughs> it was it was it was a trip. We walked up, and they went, oh, who's Who's the dog? I said, that's Duke. And I went, oh, we love, he's black. I'm like, yes. <laughs> that, that's what, so he has, he, has solid the, black, he has the white thing. Right. He's, like, he's dressed like Vlad. <laughs> yeah, he's a greyhound. Yeah, he's got teeth. But, and the whole thing, Duke was like, hey, attention. Yeah, yeah. right, right. Hey, scratch my butt. Yeah, right, you? exactly. And all of these guys that were getting ready to go into, there was some sort of a thing going on, a vampire convention yeah. at this church. And, uh, and they were, they were kind of. I didn't think vampires could go into a church. I, well, it wasn't a church at the time. Oh, oh! That the churchy people left. It was just a building. Oh, okay. Well, they they bought Carfax Abbey and they uh, bought that's Whitby. True. That's true. Yeah, those so, were churches. Yeah, it didn't right, really right. matter. It doesn't no. matter. No, they were all hanging around out there, and and uh, they were all fabulous, man. And Duke was right in the. Th- there must have been on the sidewalk. There was probably I, I would guess about forty five, fifty of them. Really? Yeah, we were completely surrounded by vampires. No bites. No. They were cool. Mm. They okay. were they were pretty groovy about it. Was there sunshine? No, it was at it was night. Dark. It was okay, dark yeah, outside. Yeah. yeah, and there was a lot of <laughs> going on yeah. in the basement over there. Right, so I'm like, right. well, it's a vampire party, is what that is. Wow. Yeah. There's probably got people tied up to tables. So I can, t- you know, and that's the buffet. That is the buffet, and I, I can tell you this: is somebody got sucked that night. Yeah. Oh, I'm sure. <laughs> I'm quite sure. <laughs> 
And you know, they were all, they were all just like they were just. They, it was like we just sort of made their night. Like all of a sudden, it didn't a matter. Black that they dog. Were, they were going into the rave or right, whatever it was right. that vampires do. They were just kind of hanging out, cutting a smoke. I didn't know vampires smoked. <laughs> Vampires do a lot of things. They do a lot of things I didn't know about. I didn't know they were dog fans. Oh, they, they're oh black dog. Well, a black dog, yes. They'd like Lucky. They, they would love Lucky. Yeah. <laughs> it could be a familiar. Oh, yeah. Probably so. And then we went on about our way, and they were like, see you, Duke. <laughs> it's the weirdest thing. We got home, and uh, in fact, there's a picture on my Instagram page of Duke eating. That's all it is. Yeah, and it yeah. just says that we just came across a bunch of uh, vampires. A bunch of vampires. And, uh, <laughs> the, the wife came home. I said, you're not going to believe what we just encountered. <laughs> we came across a bunch of vampires. She went, what? There's vampires here? And I said, yeah. I mean, they yeah. they were having a convention over there, a party. There was a birthday party or somebody. I don't know what's going on. I like out in San Jose. Damn stinking vampires. They stinking vampires, you know. Moving in, driving but these, property values down. But I tell you, with the guys that I met, these vampires that I met, they were the nicest people. They were so cool. And they were. Yeah, that's how they get you, man. I don't care. They were. They, it's not like they're going to take a dump in my yard. They were very. They were. They were like, hey, you want to come in? I'm like, I got the dog and I'm, I'm, I'm not a vampire. I, you right, know. Right. Right. I'm just a mere mortal. Right. I'm going right. to go home and have a hot pocket. And yeah. y- y'all. And you're going to suck on a pint of blood. Or something. Or and something. Y- y'all go have fun and y'all yeah, be safe. Yeah. And, and uh, you know, you know, it's, it's kind of odd to tell a vampire to go be safe. He's yeah. immortal for Well, God's that's sake. right. And so it doesn't matter. Like I told the wife, I said, I'd be perfectly stay happy if sunshine. a bunch of vampires moved into the neighborhood. There'd be nothing wrong with that. I'd just stay home during the nighttime. You wouldn't have a rat problem. No, you wouldn't. You really Probably wouldn't, wouldn't have any insect problems. Probably either. not. No, and you know, and I would think theft in the neighborhood would go down oh, a lot dramatically. Yeah. Oh, somebody broke okay. in somebody's window. Yeah. Hey, do you mind if we sit outside? We'll watch your car. We'll watch for your you. car for you. Yeah. 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 Okay, I'm in favor of vampires moving in. Why not? They, they keep to themselves. They're not going to be out hassling the kids during the day. They're only going to come out at night. Right, right. Yeah. And your kids should be in bed at night. Or, so. you know, at least get to know them a little bit. Right. You know? Well, and I, I wouldn't invite them over until you knew them a little better. Of course, the issue is with Cooper Young, the vampires there would be vegetarian. And that would be a... a that would be oh, a, yeah. So it'd be like beet juice. Beet juice, beet juice or lots of or tomato juice. Lots of tomato juice. Exactly. 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 <laughs> Bloody Mary. <laughs> yeah, she's on the main stage a little bit later on. 